today is the British Fashion Awards and um, so lots of people go to this big event um, and so today I'm going to be getting ready for people for that throughout the day but first I've got a shoot in Dalston for the cover of Sunday Time Style. So we're going to whiz over there for 9am and get started with that and leave this one in safe hands. We're off to work with actually a photographer I've wanted to work for for a while called Boo George and it's to work with a big Italian influencer called Chiara. I've had my eye on her for a long time, sort of following her and I think she's great and I'm really excited to sort of meet her and work with her today. It took me ages to find it, usual story, always walking around London with a random case, not knowing where I am. But um, yeah, I'm about to go in. I shall let you know how it goes. I've just come from the Sunday Times style cover shoot with Chiara Ferragni and it went super well. The brief was to strip it back and have it quite sort of undone and not too over top makeup and hair so we did that we stripped it right back very natural and it looked really good i was happy and i think she was too we're now going to the salon because i'm doing a client and friend of mine avril mayer who's the fashion director at um, harper's bazaar um, and she always goes every year and where possible i try and get her in because you know she wants to look great for the night British Fashion Awards, like everyone else. Wearing a YSL tux, which is very structured and sort of like quite, um, you know, masculine as it were. So we just wanted something feminine with the haircut, the hairstyle to sort of balance it out. So um, at Avril's request, we've just gone for something really lovely and sleek and straight. So we just blow dried it smooth and then we're just flat ironing through the mid lengths and ends just to make it almost look like glass and high shine. So we just want really polished, high shine hair. Okay, so we're done, we're back on the road. We're now going to Ellie Goulding and uh, I know roughly what I'm gonna do to her hair. I worked with her a couple of weeks back for a Gucci event and I saw the fitting of the, the dress and I've kind of mapped out in my head what we're gonna do. Just done Ellie's hair. It looked really amazing. She's so lovely. Did a top knot on the top of the head, so we kept it really messy, wound it into a knot and left some nice wispy bits out around the face just to make it feel really soft and um, gentle because the dress is quite full on, you'll see. We had 15 minutes extra in my day, so I've managed to grab a prep vegan lunch. And um, yeah, just gonna quickly refuel and we're off to Alexa for the last gig of the day. Here I am with one's muse, Alexa Chung. <laughs> um, so Alexa's going to the British Fashion Awards tonight, aren't you? Yes. Um, wearing her own creation here. What was the brief? Um, there wasn't like a theme or anything. I just saw a picture of, as per usual, Jane Birkin in the 70s, rather than the 60s this time, um, walking away down a path, looking backwards, and she had a like backless black dress on. Yep. So I imagined that at the front, it would have a white collar. What was the hair references you gave me? Sex kitten. Sex kitten. So what we've done <laughs> is Alexa is very known for her hair. So what we did is this time to make it a bit more sexy, we did a blow dry underneath and then we did a bit of tonging on top. So she's got the usual cool girl wave going on, but a bit more bardo-y and big and sexy. 
I met George when I was 19. I'm now 20. So it's been a good year. No, it's been a shocking it's been amount a good of time. Run, isn't it? Before that, I'd had haircuts and they were nice or they were disastrous but no one had kind of intuitively got what I wanted and made me feel like I looked like a better version of myself. So when I got my first George Northwood haircut, I literally was like, oh my God, I'm crying for the right reasons, not the wrong reasons. Yeah. I was so and you happy. did say at the time, I remember at the very time you did say, no one else is gonna cut my hair again. Yeah. And you did say on the very first time I cut the hair. Uh, and you've stuck to it. I have stuck to it. By, by one fringe trim in at New York. Yeah, once I let someone else do my hair and it was really bad. And why have you stuck with me? Why have you stuck with Not me, for the chat. <laughs> no, because he's just really nice as well. And I'm very proud of you. I think it's very, you've made an amazing business, as it should be. Works both ways. Back home with this one. Now I'm gonna sit here of an evening and basically scroll through and try and have a look at everything and make sure everything looked good. Between when you say goodbye to what goes on the red carpet, anything can happen. So I've just got to kind of wait to see what the images look like. However, I'm doing it long enough now to kind of know the tips and tricks to make sure that the hair stays. So I'm just excited to see it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please subscribe if you haven't and there'll be lots more coming soon.